Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes, as well as AnneMakes.blogspot.com. Today I have a short video for you because I was tagged by a Crafty Share Cupcake. Uh, please uh, check out her channel. She, uh, she does amazing hauls and not only that, but she shares uh, lots of uh, DIYs and she's a baker extraordinaire and she's just like really sweet lady. Uh, so I, I want to give a shout out to her and I hope you uh, support her channel. So Cher uh, tagged uh, several of us out here in YouTube land and she did she started this by posting the video about the uh, seven things she could not live without and so she's like okay your turn and so I was like I've been thinking about this the seven things I can't live without now <laughs> my problem is I I thought about this too much I was taking this literally literally and and I had this discussion with my son <laughs> And I can't help but laugh because um, my 20-year-old my son is very bright and he, he does have Asperger's and he takes things literally. And so when I said, well, what would be your seven things that you can't live without? And he goes, duh, oxygen, water. <laughs> so I thought, I don't think that's what Cher had in mind. Um, but uh, to me, of course, the seven things I cannot live without are not really things. They're not tangible. They are priceless to me, and of course, that would be my family. Um, my boys are, are my world, and my guys, I, I love them dearly. And of course, uh, my beloved kitty, insert photograph here. I cannot insert picture of the the boys they've declined uh, so I respect that and so of course you know that would be uh, my absolute and then I started you know trying to think okay beyond that uh, what I really can't live without uh, or you know and it's like yeah I could live without this but I I just need it to get through the day uh, I need a hot shower <laughs> hot shower a hot cup of tea um, my bed I love my bed it's so comfortable and I just like really it's like I can't do without that and I other things that I, I would be missing from my life if I didn't have them would be pasta and chocolate so really uh, those are what make me the happiest and uh, really they are priceless to me and I you know, I can buy the pasta and the chocolate and the tea uh, in the store, of course, but the rest is uh, my bed, too. It's true. That, that's something that was bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, those are really what's really key to me. And then I thought, well, what, you know, what do I need every day uh, and that are really important to me? And I was thinking more along the lines of what Cher was showing. She was showing uh, items that you can purchase that make... Uh, life so much more pleasant and that uh, she just loves now that she has them in her life so I thought yeah me too I, I do have things like that and uh, of course I think a common thread amongst all of us is a coffee machine and I will insert picture here of my Keurig uh, uh, we have a Keurig coffee maker and I, I could live without because I did with I did for years and years and years. But I love this thing; uh, it makes my day so much smoother. What I like about these uh, coffee makers, these Keurigs that come with these little little cups, yeah, they seem wasteful. The little cups. Uh, you can recycle them. You can you know tear off the lid, throw the grinds or the tea into the compost uh, you can recycle the little filter inside the little plastic thing can be re but it's a lot of trouble okay i know that and but frankly with everything else that i do that's good for the planet this is my one my one sin to the planet sorry mother nature this is where i draw the line okay <laughs> i need my coffee 
and in my family no one likes the same kind of coffee or tea so uh, it's great for us I have two drawers underneath the Keurig I have my uh, Tim Hortons coffee that I love my husband has his uh, extra strong Starbucks uh, coffee um, and then there's all the teas because uh, my son is a tea drinker and then there's a hot chocolate for my other son so everybody can have their hot beverage of preference and it's just you know it's just a machine and, and a cup that get dirty that's it <laughs> easy peasy for mom no cleanup I don't have time for that so yeah this this my Keurig again insert picture here so so what else can I live without that is essential to what I do every day it would have to be the internet as much as it is my nemesis on many days uh, it is very difficult to work with the internet here but I am totally totally dependent on it it is my it is what I do I'm a creative person and it is very difficult for a creative person to make a living uh, without being part of the social media world and the internet is basically essential for us uh, it is the only the best way to market what we do it is the best way to uh, maybe not the it's not maybe the best way but is and not the only way but it plays an integral part of our marketing it is uh, you can't you know I love to paint and I love to draw and I love to make art but let me tell you no one buys it unless I put it out there uh, no one knows what I do no one knows what I'm capable of doing unless I put myself out there unless I sell what I can do and that you know and, and I've been called a sellout and you know yeah I'm a sellout but you know that's the only way that if you work for yourself and you're a creative person and you need you you're looking for work you're looking for gigs you gotta market yourself so the internet is one way for me to do that uh, in addition to you know all the socializing I have to do and the mark the uh, conferences I attend and you know all that other stuff but the internet helps me uh, a lot I write off blog posts for pub I pub I get published on the internet uh, for websites I am uh, I work in the craft and hobby industry this is my niche and you know this is what I do a lot there's a lot of us out there who who blog for a living uh, and who who write the content that you search on the internet got put there by people like myself so uh, this is why I am dependent on it so I can't live without it really um, although full disclaimer here I do not need to work as hard as I do I do not need to work period okay I'm very fortunate uh, we are at a stage in our lives where uh, my earning money is not an issue it is not important okay I'm very fortunate for that but I do it because I love creating so uh, what I another thing I would find very hard to live without is my iPhone which is what I am filming this on at the very moment so I will insert a picture of my iPhone here also the other, the other thing of course would be my other technology so it would be my iPad so this is uh, my my mini iPad so this is I think this is the second or third version uh, th this is the one just before the iPad uh, Pro so this is the one I have and uh, yes this thing I can take this with me everywhere I don't have to show this at security at the airport I just I leave it in my bag as well as my iPhone it's easy to take everywhere it, it does it's a it's a device it's not a full-blown computer so it does have it have its limitations but it surprisingly can do a lot 
in here I have my entertainment also I have thousands I have access to thousands of books and music I can watch Netflix on there's there's everything everything I can do and that's another thing I just mentioned Netflix that is one thing I would not like to live without because um, television is sucks so really uh, we pay through the nose literally for satellite television and uh, cable and thousands of channels and network television just not is not making good programming so I am constantly going to the internet Netflix Crave TV HBO the History Channel uh, to watch good stuff good movies good documentaries interesting shows so that is another reason I love the internet and of course my MacBook my laptop uh, this is something I cannot live without I am constantly using I use this every single day this laptop follows me on every single business trip I hold on to it dearly I <laughs> Um, I don't mind when I get to security to have to take it out of my bag and have them check it. And even when I'm traveling and they have like a big security uh, problem and they don't allow you to have carry-ons uh, on the airplane, uh, I I grab my I do grab my iPad, my iPhone, and my laptop and my medicine because I I need medicine. Um, you know it's happened. And no, you will not tear me away from that. That That is everything in there. Um, so yeah, those are some of the things that are really essential to me. And the other thing I would say are really, really important to me are my crickets. Uh, my Cricut electronic die cutting machines as well as my manual die cutting machine, but the cuddle bug. Now, because of what I do, because of what I love to do. And even if I, even when I will not be working, working in this, I will still be making and creating. I was a stay at home mom for many, 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 many years. I raised my children myself. And, well, of course, I have a husband, but I mean, you know what I mean. And I created. So that's why I have such such a, a, a portfolio of creations, even though I've only been working in the industry uh, for a few years. I'll still, I'd only like to say if I decide to like retire from, you know, the business, I, uh, I'll still be making stuff. I loved, I've been with Cricut for over 15 years. I love the product. I and, and now I am so happy to be working for the company uh, but yeah uh, it's what I do I swear by that machine I have been true to it and followed it forever and to me it is an essential tool for me the Cricut is an electro electric die cutting machine to me it is the best really and I know because and that to me it is the best because I have tried the other ones and I don't like them. No offense people, I don't like working with the other ones. I love working with Cricut, okay? I It works with cartridges, without cartridges. It works uh, with the designs that you can get online. There are free designs, there are thousands of free projects online. And there are thousands of projects that you pay a small fee for. The possibilities of creation are endless. And they've just came out, come out with a brand new invention 
no, it is not just an upgrade. That now I'm promoting the company. It is brand new. It has a rotary blade inside. It will cut fabric. No need to cut paper patterns by hand when you want to sew something. It prints it on your fabric. It cuts it. All you have to do is sew. You just saved a whole hour. So uh, yes, um, I love that machine because I create. I make stuff all the time. So that's definitely something uh, I cannot live without. Then of course my sewing machine. Again, I will insert picture here. <laughs> my My sewing machine, uh, the sewing machine I have, it's not because it's this sewing machine. I've had this, uh, it's a Kenmore, a hundred stitches, electronic. It was a special edition. It was a special edition machine. I was fortunate enough to buy it in a uh, store clearance that was being remodeled and I got it for half, half the real health price because it was a floor model. I take care of, the, I've had it for over 20, 20 years, maybe 25 years. It works wonderfully. It's it's a charm to work with. It does have uh, a lot of fancy stitches, and like I said, it's it's partially electronic. But the best thing about it is that it was one of the last type of sewing machines with an all metal body. Uh, and they had the electronics. Nowadays, uh, new sewing machines are mostly all plastic when something breaks it breaks so at least uh the this is what i'm partial to uh, mechanical things that are made with metal and not plastic because they last longer and they can be repaired so uh yeah sewing i that sewing machine i have i sewed uh my wedding dress on it i sewed my baby's clothes i sewed my baby's diapers their clothing I still make uh, repairs. I'm sorry, the uh, space on my iPhone had just gotten full, so uh, I got cut off there. So I was in the middle of saying that my sewing machine is one of the uh, gadgets that I could not live without, that I find that my life would just be really difficult to live uh, without that. Insert picture here if I haven't already done that. Uh, so, and finally, uh, one last item uh, that I I thought of uh, last night. I was preparing supper and I was using something and I thought, oh, my life is so much easier because of this gadget. And it is a, I'll insert picture here. <laughs> It is this little pot that I plug in and it has a spinny thing as, as it, you can see in the picture maybe or I think I actually have a little video clip that I will insert. In here somewhere and uh, it, it stirs for me. That's what it does. It, it stirs. It stirs sauces. And I love this thing. <laughs> I'm able to, uh, you know, I can just grill some meat, cook something simple, make a sauce, and my little pot will stir it. So while that's stirring, I'm not standing there stirring. I can actually respond to emails. I can check the messages. I can take care of something else that needs to be taken care of. It's just, it's kind of like the Keurig coffee maker. It's just a, a gadget that just saves me time. And uh, I love having these in my home, in my life. And it would be very sad not to have these anymore in, uh, in my life. And they make things so much easier. So, uh, recap, I think my seven things were uh, my laptop, iPad, laptop, iPad, iPhone, um, Cricut, sewing machine, Keurig coffee maker, and my uh, souci. So, uh, <laughs> those are my seven. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this little video and I said so appreciate a thumbs up. 
please like, comment, share, subscribe if you are not already subscribed, and don't forget to go check out Crafty Share Cupcakes uh, website, uh, YouTube channel as well. Thanks so much. Take care. I'll see you later. Bye.